right, so first what we're gonna do is remove our four cover screws right here. Keeping the screws together. I want to lose them. Take off our cover. I find it's nice to keep the screws in it. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to remove the control boards off of each of these white pogos and the white shield. Set them somewhere safe. Now we're going to move these three screws here. Keep the washers with them. Now we're going to move this pet bar here. And then remove it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the turbo fan wire. We're going to lift out the board, move the two bottom fan wires, take the board out and remove the sill pad right here. These will come with uh, your new power board and you will absolutely need a new one without a doubt. All right, so now that we have our new sill pad, we're gonna put it on our FET bar and you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't scuff the pad with your fingernails and make sure that it goes fully down on each one of the posts. Next, we are going to get our fan wire and make sure that you have the black facing the bottom of the board and the red at the top. It's marked on the power board. Just like that. Flip it over. Make sure that you don't pinch the fans between the board and the casting. Same principle, black facing the bottom of the board. And that's that. All right, now using the torque driver, we're going to screw down the FET bar again. Make sure all those screws fall into the holes. We're going to start at the bottom. And then go back every other screw. And I just get it tight at first and I'll go back and torque them all down. Make sure that the pressure is applied evenly. This is a good time to point out that the cracking in the FET bar is normal. Um, you also want to make sure that you are using 18 inch pounds. Okay, now we're going to reinstall the three screws here. They do not need to be torqued, they just need to be snug. And now we are ready to reinstall the control board. Starting with the white insulator, and then you're going to want to line up these posts with the holes, and line up the six white posts, and then snap it into place. And now you're good to go again.